Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again. Back for your first video blog of the day for Saturday, September 5th, 2015. Around 7 10 in the morning, Bowick, Massachusetts. Nice and sunny day out. Going to be close to 80, low humidity, and a perfect 10 day. The, the, the humidity and heat are returning this upcoming week. In New England, some news to report: Boston Red Sox beat the Philadelphia Phillies by a score of seven to five. The Iron Birds beat the Lowell Spinners by a score of three to two. Heartbreaking loss by the Spinners because they blew a two-run lead at the bottom of the ninth. And that's about it on the news. My first video subject of the day is a continuation series of everything and anything. I've now reached the top. 10 best things on the menu at Hooters restaurant. I was a regular at Hooters of Boston from April 1998 through June 2007 when they closed and I used to eat a lot there there and these are the top 10 best things on the Hooters menu in my humble opinion. Number 10 on this list is the Hooters burger, the hamburger. I had this burger many times. It's a good. It was a good burger and stuff like that. And it also, I had to order a side of French fries with it. it. Was pretty good. Number nine on this list of the top ten best things on the Hooters menu: key lime pie. This was my favorite dessert at Hooters of Boston. In fact, it was the only thing on the dessert menu at Hooters for many years until I think around the mid 2000s when they added more stuff like cheesecake and chocolate mousse pie and stuff like that. Number eight on this list of the top ten things on the Hooters menu, the best things, was New Orleans shrimp. I had the shrimp many many times. The sauce, the taste of it was pretty good and stuff. I love seafood and stuff like that. And I love getting the New Orleans shrimp that came with a couple of sides of bread I think. Number seven on this list of the top ten greatest things on the Hooters menus, chicken strip sandwich. This was like a specialty sandwich they had when they had these promos for college basketball and college football and stuff. It surprisingly did not become a permanent fixture on the Hooters menu when I was a regular there, but it should have been because it was a great, great sandwich. Number six on this list of the top ten greatest things on the uh, Hooters menu was the chicken parmesan dish. The chicken parmesan dish was introduced at Hooters, I think around 2006 and stuff, and I had this dish a few times. It was a great dish. It came with a kind of a side salad and a piece of bread and stuff, and I had this a few times when I was at, when I went to Hooters. Number five on this list of the top ten best things on the Hooters menu was the pasta salad. This was a good salad. Sometimes I would have chicken on it. And it was not that popular, so it got to dis discontinued on the Mahooda's menu in around 2005, 2006. Wish they had like like tomato sauce on it like for like the pasta. That would have been good. Number four on this list of the top ten best things on the Hooters menu is the buffalo chicken sandwich. I loved like buffalo chicken and you know this was a great great sandwich and stuff. Comes in at number four. Number three on this list of the top ten best things on the Hooters menu is a gourmet hot dog. I love hot dogs and stuff like that. I would get this on occasionally and stuff. Came with french fries and stuff and they called it a gourmet hot dog but it was just a fancy name for it. It was a regular hot dog. Number two on this list of the top 10 best things on the Hooters menu was chicken strips. I liked the chicken strips a lot. Had them a lot. It was like the chicken bites at Augusta's um, food market and stuff like that. And the number one thing, the best thing on the Hooters menu was Hooters chicken wings. This, I have always had Hooters chicken wings. It's just the majority of the time I went to Hooters. This would be the thing I would have most common on the menu. It was sometimes I would get it like the chicken 
wings naked and stuff and regular chicken wings and stuff and now they have so many different sauces in there when i was a regular hooters boston they didn't have too many sauces there but now they have barbecue garlic stuff like that and that's about it on the hooters menu they could be in the near future the top 10 hooter girls of boston of all time but that's that's somewhere down the road and stuff but it's coming I'll be back later on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Two more video blogs today. One will be about WWE Saturday Night's main event. And the third and final video blog of the night, personality profile. It will be about former MLB player Daryl Strawberry. Like I always say, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Keep calm. And I'm a Julie Budden guy. Molly Rosenblatt, Fox 35 Rocks, and has nice legs. Amy Swenzi of Wish 2 Rocks. Elizabeth Hart on on Local 6 Rocks. And in the words of Bruce Cronin, and former co-worker at Hart Hanks, want to put a wager on that. And see you later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Bye now.